Myrtle's journey during hip dysplasia. Myrtle is a young normal girl who grew up to be a beautiful and active teenager. But at the age of 17, she suffered pain in her right hip. The doctor said that it was just a growing pain. But at the age of 19, she was diagnosed with hip dysplasia. She is now ready and we are now traveling to Victoria for a major surgery, which is called periacetabular osteotomy. Girl. April 13, 2023 is the day of the surgery. Do you know what Myrtle's thought before the surgery? I don't know if you know how much he makes. <laughs> How much money will he get from this? <laughs> the doctor, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's in her thought. <laughs> and imagine he's the only one doing it. In BC. In BC. He's the only one doing it in BC. Yeah, that's right. What is hip dysplasia? It is a condition that occurs when the acetabulum is too shallow to support the femoral head meaning that it is an abnormality in which the thigh bone Bye. does not fit together with the pelvis bone. First day after the surgery, she was so thirsty. She is expected to be in her room after seven hours of surgery, but she stayed for another seven hours in the recovery room because she stopped breathing. Dear Myrtle, please get well soon. We love you a lot. Mrs. White. Pass on, Mrs. White. Thank you. Thank you, Pass on, Mrs. White. Thank you. Yeah. Uh. Second day after the surgery, she was so nauseous. She is using the continuous passive motion machine, which is called CPM. It goes and up and moving. down. Up and down? Motion. <laughs> Yeah. Gusto mo gawin ko? Ha? Bili ko nail nail polish. Bili ko nail polish. Ay hindi ka ang pwedeng nail polish kasi, di ba? Pwede. Kasi titingnan nila yung bukas, hindi nila. The physiotherapist is teaching us on how to use the intermittent pneumatic compression. This device is used to help prevent blood clots in the deep veins of her legs. So, the main thing is this. Yeah. So, at least yes. by the kneecap. Oh. So, kailangan din namin yan sa bahay. That's what the order ng doctor. So, the day after the surgery, she was uncomfortable in her bed. She was so encouraged with her friends who visited her. She smiled even though she is in great pain.
pain. Pero, maganda ang kilay. <laughs> Fourth day after the surgery, the blood level is very low. <laughs> oh no. Whose blood is that there? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Six day after the surgery, she requested McDonald's. It's McDonald's time for the Rances today is McDonald's day for the Rances. Yeah, how it was started? I asked to get McDonald's and dad said next year. <laughs> so then I wrote a contract for next year and then we got McDonald's the following year. And every year. And every year since then. So today is I was Francis <laughs> McDonald's Day. Day. I know. I got boodled. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for all this blessing given to us and for our family. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a nice day. McDonald's Day. How about the first bite? You don't want this. Good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She is practicing on how to go up and down the stairs with a facio. Good job, Beth. Good job. 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 Trying to escape from the hospital, and uh, yeah, we are now outside in the park. Yeah. What can you say? She just did say, I did say, 40. How many steps? 14. 14 steps. And how did you do? I did great. 10 out of 10? Yeah. Good job. I'm leaving tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Seventh day after the surgery, she was so excited to go home. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> po ang patient. Na -e enjoy I'm po. Patient Thank you, Lord, for this blessing. <laughs> <laughs> Yam po ang patient. <laughs> May salt naman dyan eh. Nagre-reklamo pa po. <laughs> this is an interview. What? Day is today. Uh, Thursday. How many days are you in the hospital? One. And how do you feel right now? Good. Good? Yep. Ready to go home? Yep. Yeah. What did they do to you? Surgery. Surgery? Okay. What kind of surgery? Kind of and surgery. why do you get surgery? Why? Yeah. Every acetabular osteon. What does that mean in your own words? means cutting my bones so that my hip joints fit. Teaching us on how to inject the blood thinner. Open it. Okay. Oh, make sure you do it right, huh? Okay, yeah. It's your Here. daughter, huh? Okay. Open 
it in suffering for the MD expiry date June 2024. Perfect. I'm scared. <laughs> yes, this way, right? Yeah. Slant so facing up. Perfect. Facing up. And then oh, no. hold it here. Pinch, pinch. Pinch it. Yeah. Then like that. And then degrees. 90 degrees. Yeah. And then ready, set, go. Over 10 seconds. One, two, three, three four, four, five, five six. six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, you're pinching then, this time. Then up. Yes. You did not push it. That's really okay. Hard. Now try and see if you can push it all the way in. It's really hard. Yeah. <laughs> you can let go. Go, go, And then That's it. pinch this. Yeah. Oh, you pinch kaiser and then the needle. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm good, right? Yeah, you did. Yeah. You feel it. You feel the. I feel the pinch. I didn't feel the needle. <laughs> <laughs> you just reacted you. Perfect. Good job. Thank you, Bailey. Really. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Bring it Yay, you're free! Ninth day after the surgery, it's a home sweet home! We have to bring her out every day to smell the fresh air. Twentieth day after the surgery is the first checkup. It's a beautiful day out there. This is the hip before the surgery and then five screws after. I am so grateful for the families and friends who are always there for support. Ah! And for comfort. But it is crash, ya pa, di pa yan magaling. Hi. Oh, yay, yay. For the second day after the surgery, it's the second checkup. And Dr. McKinney says that the healing process is so extra unusual. And she called Myrtle a superstar. So I brought her to different places in Victoria. Well, Ali in the world. And since it's Mother's Day, Myrtle gave me a Mother's Day present. It's an overnight stay in Victoria. Sixtieth day after the surgery is the third checkup in Victoria. Since we are in Victoria, we explore different places like the Parliament, the Nature World, and try the exotic food. Eighty-ninth day after the surgery is her fourth and final checkup in Victoria. 
Myrtle's life is a journey filled with lessons. That God makes no mistake. That building and maintaining meaningful connections with family and friends can bring joy and support <laughs> during challenging times. That life will present challenges and developing resilience can help you bounce back and keep moving forward. Remember, life's lessons are continuous and every experience contributes to your growth and wisdom. I hope you learned a lesson on Myrtle's journey during hip dysplasia. By the way, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, like, write your comment below, share this blog, and push the notification button for more updates. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye!